session of Scotty Sweet and Old Fit with me, Phil. How's it going? If you've made it back, this is workout number two and it's a really, really good sign because it means you might have enjoyed the first one. I'm hoping you did anyway, okay? Now today, we're going to be spelling out another Scottish word and I'm wondering whether you managed to guess it, okay, after the last one. What we're going to be spelling out today is the word tartan, okay? So, six letters, six exercises and we're going to bunch them up and do them a whole different set of ways, okay? Like I said, I was going to change up the setup ever so slightly from the last one, okay? So, I'm going to talk you through those exercises that we're going to attack today now, all right? So the first exercise that we're going to do today is the tuck jump, okay? Now the tuck jump, whenever I mention that name to any of the regular um, class scores and stuff that come to the Ryan Center where I work, it sparks fear, you can see this, the fear in the eyes as you say tuck jump, okay? It doesn't need to be a scary thing, yes, it's not the easiest exercise and certainly not the easiest one to start off with but the aim is always to get your knees as close to your chest as you possibly can okay so that means setting yourself to go into the next one do that okay i'm quite springy so i can go over and over like so or a bit quicker okay but the aim for you is to try and get those knees as high as you can so it could be that okay it's really, really down to your own ability level, all right? So the second one we're going to be doing today is going to be alternating squat with lunge, okay? We're just going to tie the two exercises in together here, okay? So that's a TA. Now the, uh, the squat comes first, feet shoulder width apart, we're pushing up through the heels as we come up, with that nice and straight. Then we're going to go into a lunge. One foot back, squat, lunge the other side, squat, leg So You can obviously go a wee bit quicker depending on how hard you can work with okay? Now we're going to go into Russian side twists for the third exercise. That's an arms exercise. So we find ourselves in the floor. Now, it's really up to you if you have a form of weight, okay, or resistance you wish to use, you can do. We're going to try and keep those feet off the ground, like so, extended if you can. We're going to find that biting point as we lean back and go side to side with the hands, okay? As we do that, you're getting a good crunch in each side of the abs walls, your obliques, okay? I'm going to try and keep the legs off the floor for difficulty, but if you need to drop them and do it with your feet on the floor, you can do it too, all right? Now the fourth exercise we're going to do today is a different version of the burpee. It's not the original burpee today, it's the three-phase burpee, okay? And what we're going to be doing with the three-phase burpee is three different phases, okay? We're going to be facing the front, we're going to be facing the left, and we're going to be facing the right, okay? So the front one comes first, we jump in, we twist to the side, that's two phases completed, we jump to the other side, okay? The three phase burpee, all right? Then we're going to go into some alter alternate standing side crunch, okay? Which is another abs one, but you don't need to lie flat on your back to do this one, you can do it while you're standing. We're going to keep the elbows up high, all right? We're going to raise the knee to the side, and as we do, we're going to slightly lower the elbow, not too far, okay? Just ever so slightly, keep them attached to your head, the hands. And we're doing it like so, as you do, you're going to feel that crunch again in your obliques, okay, right on your sides. And then the final exercise we're going to do is going to be the normal squat to wide squat, okay? So, back on the quads again with the squats. Regular squat being good shoulder width apart, okay? As we do that, you can then go a wee bit wider into a sumo squat, a wide squat, okay? Now you can do an explosive plie squat if you wish as well, all right? That gives you something a wee bit different. So a wee bit wider, like so, touch it in, okay? Or you can explode in and out of your wide and your regular, like so, all right? It's entirely up to you again. Again, if you really want to simplify it, you can even, I was gonna sit in my chair there, which I had in the last class, but I've moved it since. If you have a chair handy, you can sit in and out of your chair, okay? And do your squat that way, all right? Well, folks, that is all six exercises we're gonna do today. We're gonna do them each individually, then we're gonna bunch them up into twos, then we're gonna bunch them up into threes, and come back down the way again into your twos and into your ones to finish off, all right? Changing the timings ever so slightly as we go, all right? Brief intro, sorted. We're gonna get into a warm-up now, okay, folks? Let's get on it, all right? So again, I've got my royalty free music in the background. If you want to turn this video down a little slightly and listen to your own music, something that motivates you, 
feel free. Okay. Now let's get ready to get those heart rates up, get warmed up, ready for exercise. Okay. We're on the toes. Now make sure, as always, you get plenty of water on you. You're dressed accordingly, and you get plenty of floor space around right about you. Okay. Now we're going to go into some jumping jacks to start off with. Okay. As always, I ask you to do anything that you don't feel like doing. Don't feel the need to do it. Okay. You can either make it a wee bit easier or you can choose something else that you feel more comfortable doing, okay? Star jumps first, all the way up, like so, or you can go half stars if you want, all right? There's always an easier way to do something, and there's usually a harder way to do something as well, okay, if you really want to test yourself. That's good. Okay, we're going to take that leg, we're going to kick it in front, try and get them as high as you can, don't worry too much. If you can't touch your toes, okay, you'll get them as high as you can personally. We're all different. Great stuff, okay. On the move again, we're just going to go for a wee shuffle with the feet. Swell those hips around. Use those hands to do a little bit of momentum as we do. Keep that core nice and tight. Good, okay, we're going to take one knee up. And touch the knee. Okay. Squeeze that core as we do. Good. Okay, let's take that knee the outside, open it up. Keep that standard foot planted. Good. Okay, now we're going to take the foot and raise it. Okay, your abductors, your out of thighs, okay, your hip flexors, everything in there. Keep that body nice and straight and just let the leg raise up. Good, on the toes again. Now so we're going to get some heel flex before we go into high knees, okay? Just keep that body nice and straight. Core nice and tight, body upright. Okay, let's get those knees up in front. Remember, you can march if you want, alright? Just get them as high as you can, preferably up to hip height, okay? That's fine, but yeah, see so if you can hit them. Very good. Okay, we're going to slow it down. We're going to get some lateral lunges on the go as well, alright? Nice straight leg. All the pressure pointing away from that bent side, okay? Make sure we feel it. And the inside of the straight leg as we do it. Good. One more each side. Excellent. Okay. On the toes again. Now, we're going to go into a couple of reverse lunges this time, taking the leg, put it back, push up through the heels of the front foot. And we're not quite touching the floor with the knee out behind. And again, put no pressure coming over the top of the front knee. Keep that core nice and tight. Keep balanced. Again. Okay, now we're just going to speed things up ever so slightly after a couple of windmills with the arms. Yeah, take them forwards, go for about eight rotations, and change it and go back the way. Great stuff. Okay, ready for a little sprint. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Four. Three, two, one, and up we go, okay? One more of those. Ready, let's go. And rest, well done. Okay, get a mouthful of water. Or two, if you need it. All right, now we're gonna get straight into the workout. Start off with top jumps, okay? Now, to determine how high you can get, hope well, you've tried your top jump, okay? See how high you can get, and try and maintain it, all right? Just try and stay on the toes throughout. Start to get tired, and you can't get the knees up any further. Just stay on the bounce. Okay, come and start moving. Try and keep working. All right. Like I say, any exercise that you wish to kind of calm it down in, you think, oh, I need a rest, 
for the video, okay? Take a longer rest than we're getting. We're going to be getting 15 seconds rest, either side of a 30 seconds exercise as we walk through them individually here, okay? So if you need it longer, pause the video, okay? And start it up whenever you need to, okay? You do you, remember that, okay? This is your workout. All right, top jumps, folks. We're going to go in five seconds. 30 seconds ready. Three, two, one, let's go. I did want to get out of the way. 15 to go. Well done. Okay. Alternating squat lunges. Come out using 10 seconds time. Alright, squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Ready in five. Three, two, one, let's go. Halfway there. Keep it going. Five seconds. Well done. Now, next one we're going, we're going to get a wee breather. Okay, give the legs a rest. We're going to sit down, find your biting point, get those abs. Okay, five seconds. Russian side, side to side. Three, two, one. Let's go. And we'll try and keep the legs off if you can. Like so. Or you can put them on the ground if you need to. Okay. Halfway there. Make sure you're getting right over there across. Well done. Okay. Halfway there. Well done. Okay. Three phase buffy. Forward, left, forward, right. Keep it going. Okay. There we go. Five seconds. Keep going, we're doing really well. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep that core tight, help the tongue in. Ten seconds, come on. And rest again, well done. Okay, alternating stand and side crunch. Get your breather here, okay? Keep that core nice and tight. Raise the knee and crunch. Make sure you're feeling it up the sides, okay? Ready in three, two, one. Let's go. It's a less intense exercise. Make sure we're feeling it all the same. Good, come on. Halfway. Keep the body facing forwards. Five seconds. Well done. Okay. Final one. We're going normal squat, regular squat, feet shoulder with the top, into a wide squat, single squat. Okay, you can do one or the other. Remember, you don't need to copy me. That's what I'm going to do. Still out the one time. Ready, let's go. And wide. And then, and wide. And then, and wide. We're going to go wide. Those toes point out in the same direction as the knees. Okay, out of the way. You get that deeper. And you'll feel it more in the inner thigh. Come on, 10 seconds. Well done, okay. First six done, well done. Individuals done. Now what we're gonna do this time is, we're gonna couple them up, okay? We're gonna do two exercises together out of the six. That's three, only three rounds we're doing this time, okay? So we're gonna be doing top jumps 
coupled up our squats and lunges, okay? Without a breather in between. And we're gonna be going for 10 seconds longer. But that also means we're going for 10 seconds less because you're only gonna be working for 20 seconds on each of them, okay? It's not 30 seconds this time. 20 seconds tucks, 20 seconds squat and lunge, okay? Without a rest in between. That's when we catch, okay? Now we're gonna get ready to go. 40 seconds mark with the top jumps, okay? Make sure you've got plenty of water on. We're gonna go in five seconds. Top jumps first. I'll show you when we're halfway. Ready? Let's go. Try and get as high as you can. Ten to go. Three, two, squat and lunge. Let's go. Good, 10 seconds left. A rest, well done. Take a slightly longer break. Just walk for longer. Okay, now in 15 seconds, we're going to go Russian side twist and a three phase buffy. One more time. Okay, that one. What's that you need to remember? Okay, side twist. Ready, let's go. Right, you've got some form of weight, like I say, you can use it for this. Five seconds, we're going to it. Three, two, one, let's go. Five seconds. Well done, good. 20 second breather, and we're in the final one, okay? We're going alternating standing side crunch, or we calm it right down, and then into our normal squat wide squats, okay? Keep it going. Ready with the uh, side crunch. Three, two, one, let's go. Now knee right up. Tilt for 10 seconds. We're going on our squats. Three, two, one, let's go. Ten to go, come on. Keep the technique. Make sure we're pushing up through the heels. Back still straight. Well done. Good. Okay, water breaks again. This time when we go, we're walking for a bit longer still. But we're going to triple them up this time. Okay? So we're going to go in 20 seconds, top jumps. 20 seconds, alternating squat and lunges. 20 seconds, rush inside with no break. One minute walk, solid. Okay, of course. Use that term this way because if you need a break, take a break. Alright? If you're feeling on the hill, you need to take that break, get all water on, alright? Now, we're getting ready to go, okay? 10 seconds we go, make sure you've got all the water on board you need. One minute solid work. We'll get 30 seconds break after. Top jumps. In 3, 2, 1, let's go. Ten seconds. Ready for squats and lunges, let's go. Quarts are getting heavy, keep it going. Seven seconds into twists in the Russians. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. 15 seconds, we're done. Ten to go. 
Right way over. Come on. And breathe out. One done. 30 seconds off. We'll hit this second triple. Okay. So we're going to go three days buckbeat. We're going to go alternating side and side crunch. And then we're going to go with our normal squat wide squats. Okay. Come on, folks. Almost there. Not much more to go now. Okay. 10 seconds we go. Ready to there. Three phase buckbeat. In three, two, one. Let's go. Ten more seconds. Stand inside crunch. Let's go. Doing so well. Come on. Inside the last ten. There we go. Squats in three, two, one. Let's go. Ten to go. This is it. Excellent. Well done, folks. Get a good breather. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Now we came up the hill. Now we go back down again. Okay. So. Ooh. In a moment. You feeling that? Hope you're feeling all right. I'm feeling all right. I guess that's putting the work out where you really start to feel. Oh, don't want to do this. Don't want to continue. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Keep working, okay? Now, we've got under 10 minutes work left. And we're done, okay? Let's get the going. Now, we're going to couple them up again. We're going to work for slightly less time again. Okay? So we're going to work on two over the course of 30 seconds here. 15 seconds on each. Last time it was 20 seconds on each. Okay? So, we're going to divvy up the exercise. And okay, we're going to feel something different. Okay, this time we're going to go top jumps and Russian sides. Okay, here we go. Let's get ready to go, folks. Five seconds. Top jumps in three, two, one. Let's go. Five seconds. Okay, the Russians. Now let's go. I want 10 to go. Well done. Okay. 20 seconds rest. This time we're going alternate squat lunges. I'm going to go with a three phase pop piece. This isn't a nice one, not a nice coupling. Okay, here we go, squat and lunge. Three, two, one, let's go. Only working 15 seconds on one, remember. 10 to go. Ready with the box, please. Let's go. See how many you can get in. Ten seconds. Breathe out. Well done. Okay. First time when we go, we're going to be going whew, for the standing side crunch and our normal squat wide squat. All right, last two. Ready with it. Five seconds. Standing crunches. Let's go. Five seconds. Enter our sports in three, two, one. Let's go. Ten seconds left. Come on. 
Keep walking. Three, two, one. Well done. Good. Well done. Get some water on. Okay. Now we're not quite finished yet. We're not quite down that hill. Okay. So one more lot to do. Yep. We're going to do them individually again. Four. Less time on each. Okay. So we're going to get a breath, a rest in between each this time. That's the pros of it. Alright, you've done the hard bit. Let's keep it going, let's keep going. Right. Now, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Let's blitz it. Okay. Five seconds, top jumps in three, two, one. Let's go. Five seconds. And breathe up. Okay? Alternating squat lunges coming at you. In seven seconds. Keep it going. Come on. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ten to go. Five seconds. Well done, okay, 10 seconds. Russian sides next. Keep working, folks, almost there. Halfway hill, this one. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. Try and keep those feet off if you can. Five seconds. Woo! Rest again, well done. Ten seconds, okay, then we're into our three phase block piece. Five seconds, we go, come on. Woo! Three, two, one, let's go. Ten to go. Come on, one more. Well done. Okay. Alternating stand and side crunch. Five seconds we go. Come on. Keep blitzing it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep that core tight. Make sure we squeeze it. Ten seconds. Well done. Ten more seconds rest. Okay, this is it. Final one. Normal squat, wide squat. Come on. See it out. If you need to make it easier, make it easier. Don't stop now. Let's go. Keep the form. Ten to go. Five seconds. <laughs> Good everyone. Excellent. Get that water on. You've completed it. You've completed day two. Superb effort. Well done everyone. Okay. Absolutely incredible. Hope you're feeling a wee bit sweaty after that. Okay. Hope you're feeling a wee bit sore too. Always a good sign that you've been working to your full potential. Which is the best thing you can possibly do if you want to get fitter. Okay. It should never get easier. Keep breaking the boundaries, alright? If you feel it's getting easier, test this off. Make some a wee bit more difficult. Try and get more reps in. Plenty of ways you can do that. Okay? Now, let's calm it right down, okay? Now, I'm going to introduce to you something that I'll bring into my Arnold Fit classes over on my page. I've got a couple of dice here, alright? Which my dog absolutely adores. So much so that I can barely read what's on it now. You see? Teeth marks, teeth marks, teeth marks. I've never seen her enjoy a toy so much than these, all right? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna throw this one first. It's gonna tell us what we're doing for our finisher, how long we're working on it, all right? So it could be 30 reps, it could be 10 reps. We'll just need to wait and see. Second dice tells us exactly what we're gonna do. Push-ups, squats, whoo. What's that, I can't even do backwards. Jumping jacks. <laughs> okay, so 
Throw in the numbers first and then we'll see what we're doing. Ooh. 30 seconds, okay, of what though? Of what? Aha. So, I should explain this to you. If it lands on the black dot, which it has, that means we're doing burpees, okay? Because there isn't some written on there. It came down to trainer's choice. I chose burpees, okay? So, there's more burpees to do. We're just going to do regular burpees to see us out facing the camera. That's going to be me anyway. If you want to debut up and do some form of other burpee that you know, you can do squat burpees, you can do 180 burpees, you can do star burpees. Loads of different burpees you can do, okay? Top burpees even if you want to. That's a really good one, okay? Regular burpees for me, you know, 30 seconds, start, 10. Now, okay, put it under the length of seconds. That would have lost. Ten to go. Come on, one more. Lovely finish of that one. Okay, folks, so get your water on, bring yourself back to norm again, and while you do that, we're going to talk about what we're going to do next, okay? So make sure you do all that, and then we're going to get into some stretches next, okay? Very important that you do, so as your body has the best chance of recovering, and you can come back tomorrow for day number three. Of course, you can. I hope to see you then, alright? But now, stretch time, folks, okay? Hope you enjoyed that. Stretch time folks, alright. So again, I hope you enjoyed that workout. What we've got now is just gonna bring us all back to a state of normality again. So we're gonna start off with our upper body and work our way down. Now with any of these stretches, you can hold each for up to 30 seconds, although for this purpose of the video, I'm gonna hold them for 50. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by reaching up and over like so. Okay, you're gonna feel a crunch on this side as you do, and you're gonna feel the stretch right up the side here. Your arm is above the head. Okay, keep that core nice and tight. Hold it for 15 or 30, it's up to you. Okay, and slowly you're ready. All right, now as with any of these stretches, the sole purpose is just to give you an idea of what you should be doing at the end of your workout. Okay, if you come to workouts at the Ryan Center or things like that often, okay, you probably have a good idea of what you should be doing. All right, so if you've got your favorable stretches, you wish to carry out. Start rolling, okay? I'm going to get the biceps and the shoulders this time, okay? So I'm going to hold either above or below the elbow like so and put it across till I feel the stretch in that area, alright? Now make sure you do feel the stretch. Make sure it's not too loose and make sure it's not held too tight, okay? Releasing and alternating when you're ready. I might be a little bit harder to feel straight in, okay? As all our bodies are different, one person to the other. Our own bodies are different. Each side of the body might be a little bit easier or harder to stretch, okay? So we're going to get the triceps and the shoulders this time. We're going to reach as far down the spine as we naturally can. We're going to hold onto that elbow, create a nice 90 degree here on this arm, okay? You should feel the stretch down the back of the arm. If you don't, control a slight pull, okay? I don't want anybody yanking it. Okay, keep it nice and controlled, as you have been with all your exercises, the same should be done with these stretches, okay? Alternating when you're ready. And again, if you feel any sort of pain, or you've got a history of injury in some of these areas that are stretching out, okay, and you feel as though you need to bypass that stretch, that's absolutely fine, alright? Don't do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing, okay? I hope you've been sticking and adhering to that through the workout over there. Alright, so this time we're going to work our way down the body. We're going to get the quads. Now if you struggle with your balance, hold onto a wall or something that's fixed around about you, like a unit or something like that. Now you're going to bring both knees together, slight bend in the standing knee and push out from the hip. As you do that, you should feel it in your quad, okay? Or your thigh, as it's better known as. Alright, once you think you're 15 to 30 seconds, alternate. We'll get the other side, okay? 
Again, just get on mind, you may need to push out a wee bit more with one of the sides. Okay, if you can't feel any stretch in there, emphasize that push out the hips just a wee bit more. Okay, after this one, we're going to do the inner thighs and the hamstring, okay? Okay, now this time, point the set of toes to the ceiling, pull our weight on this side here, okay? As we drop a wee bit more pressure onto that side, we're going to feel more of a stretch towards the inner thigh and the hamstring in that straight leg, okay? If you're feeling flexible, feel free to try and touch the toe of that straight leg. If you're not so flexible, don't force it, okay? Don't overstretch here. A wee bit more pressure on this side. Should be enough to feel the stretch, okay? Now obviously alternate when you're ready to. Excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna bring my heels together this time. My elbows to the inside of the knees. I'm gonna bring myself down here, okay, with the hands on the floor, the thighs and knees apart. And again, this is getting your inner thigh. You're also going to feel it a wee bit more in the groin sort of area here, okay? So you can either do it that way, or you can sit on your bum, bring the soles of your feet together, bring your heels in towards it, and force the knees down, okay? That's going to do the exact same, but maybe a wee bit more comfortable for you, okay? Again, any sort of pain here, needless to say, it's a very fragile area, okay? So do release it straight away. And when you do come out of it, come out of it nice and gradually. Okay, like so. Now we're just going to finish off with a couple of yoga poses, okay? We're going to start with the cobra pose. Now this one's a really, really good one for the core. We've been doing a couple of exercises which involve the abs there. So, we're going to lie belly down. I'm going to push those palms into the floor, fully extending the arms. I'm going to hook everything from the hips up off the floor. Okay, suit that belly button in, and you feel the stretch right up the core, right up the front, all right? So, like so. So force those hands into the ground, shift that belly button in. And you're going to feel a wee bit of pressure in the lower back as well, okay? As we bend up. And you point that chin towards the ceiling for an added stretch. And if you need to come out of it to go back into it, that's all you do, okay? Okay, we're going to go into the child's pose. So, we're going to keep the palms on the floor, fully extend the arms out in front this time, and push everything out behind. As we do, we're going to feel everything up here, okay? Your shoulders, the upper back, that's all going to be stretched, all right? Really force everything out behind. Emphasize it, okay? And you're going to feel it. And then we can try, in a moment, going up on the fingertips, and force ourselves a little bit deeper, okay? Now that's going to bring the stretch a little bit more around the front of the body, okay? You're going to feel it a wee bit more around the chest in the area. And your shoulder blades out behind. Excellent, okay? Once you've had enough of that, of course, if there's any stretches that I haven't done, that you wish to do, feel free to do those now. Okay, folks, so that brings us to the end of workout number two. I'll be back tomorrow with a new Scottish word for us to spell out in workout number three. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I've enjoyed taking it for you. So it's been an absolute pleasure. And like I said before, I hope you're enjoying what the guys over on the Scrinar Scottish Week page are giving you as well, all right? It's a very, very difficult situation we all find ourselves in due to the current situation that we're all, you know, suffering right now. So the fact that you are coming in and you are doing these workouts to me, it's incredible, okay? It makes me, I'm so appreciative of it, all right? But all the work that the guys in the Scrum Scottish Week are doing as well, it's, it's difficult this year, okay? Everything's virtual, it's very different. And if you are getting involved with any of the, the competitions, the games that they've got on the go, okay, fantastic, all right? And I hope it's keeping you all amused through the summer, all right? But till tomorrow, folks, have a wee think, see if you can get us the word, okay? And take care, okay? Until then, stay safe, see you later. Ta-ra. Thank you.